Hey guys, this is Creator Jill of The Creators, and welcome back to episode 2 of FTL, Faster Than Light. If you guys checked out that first episode, well, I want to apologize. Like, that honestly is the most embarrassing Let's Play I've ever seen, and I was the one who did it. So, <laughs> sorry for completely sucking at this game, but I love it, and I promise, guys, I'm going to get better. I promise. Promise. I don't know if I'm going to beat the game. I've been trying for weeks, but I will get better. So, yeah. Let's do a new game. I'm going to get past Sector 1, because fuck Sector 1. I am determined not to completely suck. Um, I don't know if I want to go with the same outlay and shit, because like, it only has one pilot, and... That is kind of a pain in the ass, because then I don't have people manning my other stations. They're not as effective until I can eventually recruit dudes. So maybe... Oh, no, wait. I'm going to go with the original ship, I think. This is like the one you start out with. Uh, it's got like a decent amount of things. I start with three humans. Yeah, let's do this. Nothing against the aliens, but meh. Okay, all right. Let's fucking do this. Okay, one star to go to first. Let's do this. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Board the station and look for survivors. Ooh, look at this. Human corpses are scattered across the station. Gross! You find the source of the signal. A lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat with them and end... Oh, in tow back to the ship. That's... A that's an awkward sentence. And hope they can recover enough to be of some use. His name is Mafan. He is another human. Mafan. He's my fan. He is my fan. Oh, that's so sweet. And he came with some scraps. Sweet. So now I have a fourth person. Let's go ahead and throw him in my shield room so my uh, shields are more effective now. Uh, save their positions. Sweet. It's a good start. One jump and I'm already up to four people. Fuck yeah. I knew I should have gone with this ship. You stumble across forward scout of the rebel fleet. Okay, let's turn these on. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at my um, my weapons. I do have one of the missile type weapons that will use up my ammo, but that's fine. They're powerful, so I'm going to try and not use these as often and try and rely mostly on my laser. And then if I can, I'm going to replace that altogether because... As I mentioned last episode, I hate running out of ammo. Die. Oof. Yeah, man, get wrecked. I think this time we'll take you out. Yeah. Sweet. Already we're doing so much better. I'm already at. St I'm still at full health. And, oh my god, and he came with another fucking gun, but it uses missiles. But that's okay, I will take it if anything. I could probably sell it. Let's take a look at it. Oh, and it shoots two missiles, but it does decent amount of damage, pierces through shields. Yeah, that's that's cool. I'll, I'll sell that as soon as I get to a store, though. Um, let's... See what we can use our scrap towards. I do want to upgrade my shields sooner than later. So I can go one and two, and then I have two more shield thingies. Now, we don't have enough power to do them unless I, like, you know, get rid of something, then I can. But uh, then that means I can't actually use... Uh, all of my guns and shit, or I like have my med bay active, so I'm just gonna leave that down for now. I'm ready, and hopefully after another fight or two, I'll be able to uh, afford it. Ooh, and there's a store here. I don't have money to spend on it. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, maybe I should go here, 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 and then by then I'll have some more credits, and then I could sell that gun, and then I'm, you know, hopefully they have something I actually want. All right, small uh, dock with refueling platform. I don't. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> and on top of everything, there's a pirate ship nearby, so... Fuck me. Y'all dead. Yeah, that's okay. This guy's a little guy. Shouldn't do too much damage. We should be okay. There we 
we go. Leave behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. <laughs> Gave me some missiles. Thank you. Okay, you go here and help repair. There we go. Sweet. Fuck you, rebel freak fleet. Oh, I can't talk. I swear to god, I just woke up. Um, I'm getting over a cold, and I'm still half delirious and still asleep, so I do apologize. <laughs> Fucking pirate ships everywhere. Jesus. Okay, let's do this. Mm -mm, draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers. Fuck that. I will never surrender, especially one of my own. They are my people, my family. Screw you, man. Screw you. Like, so far we haven't encountered any ships that have, like, extra rooms, like, uh, the teleport room, or memory control, or anything like that. So that's good. Right now they're, they're keeping it simple. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. That is a very valid point, and I don't like really taking, uh, too many surrender offers, but I get a dude, so, except, now I have a third one. Th thank you. Oh, and he's an alien. Let's check him out. Ship crew. So, CY Hang. So he's a mantis. Um, they're really good for uh, doing combat. So if I want to send him over to a ship, if I have a teleport room, or if I get boarded, he's going to be my main dude doing my combat because he is badass. He's not too great for repairing, as you can kind of see there. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. And just so you guys know, the humans are kind of like, you know, Meh. They don't do anything special. They're just kind of all around her. It's the aliens that have special things. So you, where do I want you to go? So I have my ship, my, or my, uh, <laughs> my engine room is man. Same with my weapons, my shields, and that. So that's good. Those are my main four that I want. Um, I could put him in here or in here. It doesn't really matter. Like, no, those rooms aren't really anything important. Okay. And I can still get to the store if I go here, so I will go here, get some more uh, scrap money, and yeah. You find a small space station that appears to be abandoned. I'm going to examine it and hopefully not get hurt. Oh, nice. It's just a little bit of scrap, not as much as if we were in a battle, but hey, I didn't get damage, and I, you know, managed to get some money, so. Ooh. Fuck, I could probably go here and then go back here and like I don't think the fleet would Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and then I'm gonna try and run away. It might not work out. We're gonna fucking do it though. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread for virulently? I have never ever even seen that word in my life. Okay, so they are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Send in your crew to help control the crowds or ignore the request to move on. No, people need my help. I can never say no. <gasps> oh my god! I regret everything. Okay, with the visible threat of your weapons, the infected become subdued enough for you to set up a rudimentary quarantine. However, before you leave, one of your crew presents signs of infection. You have no choice. But to leave them on the station in hopes that they discover a cure quickly. You leave before more crew succumb. Oh my god. Fuck you, man. Which one did you take? You took my, my engine, dude? Well, shit. Fuck me, man. That's what I get for trying to help people out. I want to say never again, but I'm always going to help people out. Okay, well, at least I got some scrap. Let's go to the store. Hopefully, what I get here will make up for it. What you got? What you got? Uh, okay. First, I'm just going to sell this piece of shit. Because I don't want it. Not that it's a piece of shit. Oh, wait. Wrong one. There we go. Sell. It's not a piece of shit. It's a good weapon. But I definitely don't want two missile guns. Um, I'll quickly run out of ammo. And, you know, I'm not a big fan. Drone control. No. No. <laughs> what do these do? Missile-based weapons have to percent chance of not using missile. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, automatically put out fires throughout the ship. Th I've never had that. That sounds really, really uh, handy, though. Jumping along the parts. Re I don't even use drones on the ship, so no. I might actually get this, though. Or I could use my scrap to upgrade my ship. But, like, honestly, 
fire kills me half the time. Like fucking uh, the l first episode there where the fire just killed my guy, trying to put it out, knocked out my oxygen. So even if the fire didn't kill him, the lack of oxygen would have. So I'm going to I'm gonna do this. I think it's going to help me out. I think it's good. Um, 15. Mm. May as well repair up. And let me see here. I'll get one more fuel. Oh, this is actually something I haven't brought up. This right here, this is the amount of fuel. If we run out of this, we are not completely screwed, but we kind of have to wait there turn by turn in hopes that something shows up that actually wants to help us. There's a good chance that the rebel fleet will just catch up to you or, you know, pirates or uh, someone who wants to take advantage of your ship being out of fuel and kick your ass. So, yeah. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, yeah, just on the cusp. And I have been there. I don't want to go there. So I'm going to go to this location. I'm still going to be on the cusp of that wave, but that's okay. We're going to outrun him. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while you wait for the FTL to recharge. Nah, I'm going to explore it. I'm probably going to get hurt, but fuck it. Oh, ooh, whoa, that's rare. Normally that scenario doesn't end well for me. Thank you for the little bit of extra scrap. Oh, that was fuel, not even scrap. Okay, even better. Alright, it's GTFO. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. This jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection! Thank you for fucking nothing. So I could go immediately to the exit, but I think I have enough time to go here and then jump back to the exit. Hopefully I don't have to fight the rebel fleet to use it, but we'll we'll risk it. We spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted to transport. For transport rather than combat. Does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. Avoid this ship. I want your stuff. They're trying to escape. Ah, uh, for sure. Okay, so I am just going to go immediately for your engines then. So that you cannot run away. Because I can't steal your shit if you are not here. Uh, enemy FTL delayed. Good, good, good. Engines are out. Thank you. I will take whatever scrap you have now. Oh, yeah, yeah, this totally makes up for losing my guy. Fuck yeah, okay, so that just gave me some scrap and shit and gave me a new hall laser. Or a new laser, it's a, a hall laser specifically. Fuck yeah. Okay, so power two, two, and one, so I need a total of five for this, and I still... Oh man, I need to start upgrading... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Upgrading my uh, power. And I start upgrading this, too, but I don't have enough. Uh, okay. Alright. And very soon, too, actually, before I have enough money to afford uh, the upgrades to... What was I doing? on My weapons and my reactor, so I have enough to actually put on my shields that are already upgraded. I need to upgrade this to level 2. So uh, this is my doors. Yeah, and as I mentioned last episode, if I upgrade those once, then if there's a fire in a room, it won't spread out of the doors to other rooms as well as if I'm boarded, then people aren't able to just open the doors. They kind of have to destroy them first. So, oh, shit, this is bad. Uh, I think I'm going to have to fight the rebel fleet. Let's do this. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> oh, no, they're here. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. Son of a bitch. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Okay, so uh, I am pretty much just going to be waiting for this to slowly go up. And it's not even like, as soon as I just, if I destroy them, I'm pretty sure another one's just going to take their place because it's an entire fucking fleet. So I'm just trying to survive long enough to get the fuck out of here. And you know what, though? Then that's actually kind of tempting. I, oh, let me put that back on. I'm going to take away my missile here. Uh, it's to a lot more power to my shield, so I now have my two shields up, just so I take less damage. It's like I said, I'm not trying to fucking destroy this guy or anything. I just am trying to run away, so 
charging. We're almost halfway there. Of course, if he takes out my shields, that doesn't help me. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. I mainly just don't want my guy to die. So go up here, heal a bit, because if you get hit or the room you're in gets hits again, you're dead. Sweet. Okay, next sector. Alright, so <laughs> finally we have finished the very first sector. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So eight sectors, like I said, got it right. Um this is all kind of procedurally generated. Everything is always random. So it's not always the same path you're gonna take, and even the individual sectors inside, they're all completely different. Um so do I wanna go to Mantis Controlled or an Uncharted Nebula? Uh so nebulas they will slow down the fleet, but at the same time, me being in that gaseous cloud, the nebula will affect um, like my power and stuff. So it might take away two or three or sometimes even four power bars, so I, I can't have like full shields or full weapons. So I think I might opt out of the nebula, even though it will slow the fleet down and I can visit more places, just because I want to take full advantage of my system. I already, I'm already struggling that, uh, to have enough power. So. Let's go to Mantis Controlled. Hopefully the fact that I have a Mantis alien on here might help me in some, you know, circumstances. Sometimes that does happen, so... Uh, you've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Okay. Alright, so let's just give our uh, guys here a second to repair my ship. And actually, I think I'm going to fully heal these bastards up, too. There we go. Man, how long does it take to fix that shield room? Okay. So I don't know if there will be any stores in here because it's an enemy area, so... I don't know if I'm gonna try and save up for that just in case, but for now, let's go to this distress beacon, and hopefully it's a good one, not a bad one. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Ooh, that sucks. It must have been illegally mining that belt without proper equipment. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks, or destroy and loot the ship, they're just pirates. I'm kind of a dick to pirates. So, yeah. Screw you, man. I'm gonna fucking take you out. So, two and two. I still have enough, but I will get rid of that. Put this back on. There we go. He is gonna be dead in no time. He cannot withstand my awesomeness. It's a pretty ship, though. Like, honestly, I wish I had, like, a ship that looked like this. This is nice. This... This is a phallic-looking ship, but it's uh, it's gonna do the job and help me <laughs> get by, so I'll deal with it. There we go. I haven't taken too much da uh, damage since the start so far, so it's okay. It's alright. A lot of scrap, though. Woo! Alright, I'm going to upgrade that right now. Uh, you. There we go. So that, oh sweet, that actually, if I get rid of this, oh, and that, I now have enough points here that I can have both of my lasers active, which is sweet. So that is awesome and fine and dandy, and I'm excited. Now, before I continue on Sector 2, I actually think that I'm going to end this just because I don't want it, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want it to be too long. So, um... I think next one I'm going to try and force through uh, Sector 2 into Sector 3 as well. I don't think I'm going to do it sector by sector, just kind of going by how long it takes me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I am very glad that I didn't be a complete noob in this video like the first one, and hopefully you guys are not completely ashamed of me. 
Oh, love me, senpai, love me. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. It's always a blast to play these and record these for you guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to more of these and check out our past uh, videos in Minecraft especially. We're going to be getting back into that very soon. Um, but if you guys don't know, we do have one of the largest city maps that are built entirely on console in the entire world. So it's uh, actually quite exciting. But I've been taking a break from that and playing lovely games like FTL, which is awesome. But I think uh, it's time to get back to Minecraft soon. So yeah, thank you so much again. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will check you out in the next video. Bye, guys.